Hey everyone, welcome to Stainkiller Productions today. We are working on the GMC. Last video, y'all saw we got the truck together, got it lowered down the ground, showed y'all what it looked like. Well, it's a new week and we got, we think we got our running situation figured out. We don't know yet, but we have to bleed these brakes. They're electronic brakes. They're kind of a pain. You have to have a GM tool to do it. It's been kind of giving us some troubles. This thing sat for like three weeks basically with the brake lines just completely unhooked sitting there. So we're gonna go in this morning and we're gonna tell Steve that he's gotta get this thing running because guess what guys, I Ubered here. So it's either Uber back home, which I really don't wanna do, or drive the GMC home tonight. So let's go uh, break Steve's bad news. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. There's a positive sign. Almost, yeah. Steve, what you got going on in the truck? Oh, uh, that's changing this front cover harness. See if we can get this thing to run. Oh, all right. So we did the VVT delete with the LME cover and you have to change over some things because it's a Gen 5 Plus motor. So yep. we had to convert some things. We're checking that to see if that's the reason why it's not starting. Hopefully that's it. Um, and then yeah. you gotta do these brakes. Yep, get the brakes bled. But yeah, I checked the harness. Everything's in the same location, so I okay. don't know if it's gonna change much, but we we'll try putting on the the VVT solenoid, plugging it in just to see if that makes it happy. Okay. This is the factory 5.3 front cover. Yeah. And then thanks to Andy so, over at Drew's Diesel, we have his laptop that he's uh, let us yeah, borrow. GM tool. It's like a eight thousand dollar laptop. He said so. Yeah. He let us borrow it. See if we can. It. Yeah, get these uh, <laughs> brakes bled. So we're gonna yeah. do that. But Steve, I got some uh, news to tell you. So I I just Ubered here from the house. Oh, so we gotta get run. Yeah, and this is the only thing that I got to take <laughs> me home. So. Okay. Uh, so the pressure's on. Fingers have been crossed. Pressure's on, man. We gotta yeah. get this thing running today. We're right. driving it home. If I hear this thing run today, I'm be very excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get yeah. after it. So we got the wheels back off. We're going to do the electronic bleed on these brakes, and we're going to probably crack the bleeders on them as well just because there's so much air in the lines. So we're doing that. Steve's got this harness back on now, so we're good there. And then we have a tune coming uh, via the Internet. And uh, we're going to see if we can get this thing uh, started up today. We think it possibly may be in the tune a little bit. So with that, doing this VVT delete, we may have to uh, change some stuff in the tune. I think we got the truck about ready to start up. And we're going to try to go drive this thing, see how it does. But uh, we'll give it a shot here. What do you think, Steve? See if it's going to run. I think it's ready to go. <laughs> go. Back it out. Go ahead and give her a rip, man. Two foot it. Curtis! 
sounds like a boat. It does. <laughs> Guys, it's just got stock manifolds and cats on it right now, so it's just... Friendly. Just uh, cut off the muffler. That's all we did. It looks sweet, dude. Hey, man, we're backing this boat in the at the Ozarks right now. You take my top off. Yeah, I take like your top this, off, Curtis. I like this turbo cam sound. Yeah. Man. It does sound like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it'll sound a lot better with the turbo. Oh yeah. Might as well. <laughs> I like the way it looks, dude. I really like the way it looks. Yeah. I'm making sure the auto stop is off. He can turn it off in the tune. Oh, okay. Yeah, leave that off. Brakes feel good. Sounds pretty good in here. Yeah. Very simple exhaust. Point down a little bit. Hell, yeah, well, I think she's good, brother. <laughs> I like it. I do too. It's cool. Nice job, Steve. Nice yes. job, man. We got her. There she is, folks. Six two swapped. Regular cap short bed. Four by four. I just need to get cleaned up and throw a turbo on it. Yeah. Throw some fuel in her. God dang, guys. Look at this thing. Just showed up today to get an LT 10 speed swap in it. This thing is freaking nice. Got the old bronzy back up here. We got it fixed back up, heading back to Florida. The colors are actually really close. All right, we're gonna go over here and check on Nemo. Cam has been working very hard on this cage, getting it all done. He told me he's got the seats in and uh, got a lot of the cage painted, but let's go check this thing out. He says pretty much all the interiors in the car. We don't have the seat covers on, but uh, it, it looks pretty good. There she is. Got the cage pretty much all wrapped up. As you see, still got some a little bit of more paint to do over there, but the dash is in. He did a really good job fitting all the bars through the dash man it looks good got the x bar in there we'll go around go around here and see what we got and we got all the carbon covers and stuff for the cage which looks really good man the interior fit in there really nice yeah and uh you got the fill for the fill neck for the fuel tanks being that's going to be way in the trunk there so that way we still have a usable trunk in the car which will be cool i'll be showing all my secrets now seat covers there i'm not showing no <laughs> secrets Cam. Okay. uh pull a little bronzy in huh oh yeah dude that trucks it looks that's, really good doesn't yeah, it? it's one of my favorites yeah. yeah that thing is so beautiful all right so i talked to weld today our wheels we've been waiting on for a while are going to be here Thursday, Friday at the latest. Okay. So we will have a rolling Nemo again. Tomorrow morning, well, after I'll get all that done, but that's my next thing is just getting the rear end together and in the car. So that's all we need is just wheels. And then LME said possibly engine in the next week or two. 
Hell, we might, we might, we might, we might have the full <laughs> yeah. on Nemo yeah. version three done. Right. Yeah, it's getting super close now. Yeah, it is. No. It's almost race oh, race day, baby. I know, dude. <laughs> uh, when, when is first? first uh, we're what are we? we're gonna do track rental at Flying Ace Dragway, oh, twenty minutes down the road. Brand new track, and probably the next week and a half, two weeks. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna need it. Yeah. We got some some changes coming up. It's got the owner of the track. It's like, Justin, I heard that Camaro's fast you got, but uh, what's what's the safety situation with that thing? I'm like, brother, you don't Good even got to you don't even got to worry about it no more, man. We are legal. Two months ago, yeah. different story. Yeah. <laughs> We're ready for anything, man. And I I got that rear sheet metal deal all powder coated and that textured black, which turned out really cool. Been doing some powder coating in here in our powder coating booth. So that's ready to go on the car and then got that all done on Nemo. It's been, this project's been taking a little longer than we wanted to, but it turned out perfect. We're gonna have this thing done. We got our new turbos coming from Garrett, those 80 millimeter uh, G45 turbos. You know, our brand new engine come from LME. It's, it's gonna be a ripper this year. I, I mean, the car should run bottom sevens pretty consistently and look good doing it. Uh, we're still having a full and tear. Still on ethanol fuel, no methanol, so it's very much a street car. It fits in all the street car classes. So, hope you guys uh, love the Nemo footage and the GMC footage. But uh, that's it for today. We'll see you later. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're out.